Hello, welcome back. This is episode nine of us playing Entity. This is going to be our final episode of Entity for this series of nine. Anyway, yes, Peter Schultz. Peter Schultz, awesome book, Entity. We will be utilizing Entity as well as uh, he has released the advanced storytelling for Entity, which allows us to expand upon some of the tables, expands upon some of the information and gives us more uh, sparks for our imagination. Uh, also, he uh, describes uh, some of the methods and some of the other bits a bit, bit closer. We haven't been utilizing uh, custom encounters, but I think for series two of this, when we come back to it, we will start using that. Uh, so many games, so little time. So thank you very much for joining, uh, joining me on our journey. Uh, if you do like what you're watching, please hit the like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps us out and it allows uh, more people to know about us and the whole YouTube algorithm and things. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to ask or any comments, uh, please put them in. Uh, you can at Peter Schultz because he sometimes reads these and it's possible to, to get him to link. If people ask some questions, I've been doing that as well. Uh, and beyond that, we will continue the journey of Welcome, who is our AI astronaut. Uh, Welcome has become stranded or bought on this uh, uh, planet uh, within the the universe of entity. Humanity has died approximately 10,000 years ago. Uh, we reached the pin pinnacle of uh, discovery and exploration uh, to create things such as Welcome, uh, an astronaut with AI who is trained to uh, explore the world around us and explore uh, technologies. Uh, so Welcome has been attempting to build a few things to help their exploration. Uh, we have built a few different structures to help us and at the moment we're attempting to study the gravitational forces on board of the, the on board are around this planet which seems to have a lot of uh, tectonic and gravitational activity and we're attempting to build a gravity manipulation research facility which technically will give us a plus one to our engineering. Uh, we have two aspects left, which hopefully we can get done in this uh, uh, final session, so as we can end by reading uh, our fourth discovery, which will leave us four more discoveries, which hopefully we can do uh, when we rejoin. Welcome. So, at this point, what we are attempting to do is find, uh, we had a few, uh, few failures. We do have two data and two uh, uh, resources left uh, we are quite short on energy uh, we only have four energy left so we're running short on energy which we haven't had before uh, so we might need to spend some time uh, getting our energy back up hopefully uh, we are at the point within the exploration cycle so entity works very similar to notorious uh, we're very notorious with a uh, discovery cycle this has an exploration uh, and explore cycle so the first thing what we do, the first thing what we do, the third thing that we do is we attempt to find a location which would be interesting to explore. Uh, so Welcome will uh, go through uh, their databanks, 05, we've been here before. The silicate sand dunes, we, we went to the silicate sand dunes, for silica sand dunes, we did indeed. Uh, two games ago, silica sand dunes. Wow, this thing's sticking in my mind. So. Silicate sand dunes, sand desert, sorry. A wide expanse of glimmering silica sands. Uh, so we're going to head towards there. Possibly uh, we have detected different gravitational forces affecting the area uh, where that was. And so previously we went there to, what were we looking for? We were hoping to, to build a nanomaterial synthesis laboratory, which is why we uh, explored the silicate sand desert. So possibly we're going uh, back to the silicate sand desert. Now there was, there was, so let's say we're going back to the overrun derelict, uh, which is piled into hives. So uh, we have an overran uh, derelict. So we have, we're gonna to go to that big massive structure where there's lots of uh, derelict craft have been dragged together and created a sort of hive. We're going back there uh, to see if possibly the, the, the structures were put together because of gravitational forces, so something might help us in that area. So first off, 
we will try first off let's see let's do let's let's add a terrain feature 62 62 62 is blank was that meant to be blank peter nothing it's 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 uh nondescript i wonder if that was supposed to be blank then you say you know then you have the standard uh, this this space intentionally left blank. Uh, okay, so nothing. Uh, so on our travels, uh, we have a three, which is a challenge. So we have a travel challenge uh, where we roll a percentage. 42, which is the meaning of life. Uh, 42, the ground underneath you begins to erode rapidly, revealing a deep chasm. Survival or navigation? Navigation, we get a re-roll, which is a seven. Survival is an eight. So we will roll navigation, which is seven. So we, the ground starts to raid and we sort of go through our uh, data archives of the, of the planet that we've been slowly building, particularly us already being at the desert. And we're attempting to find a way to evade this chasm opening up underneath us. Uh, we will re-roll our nine, a seven, exactly what we needed. So we successfully uh, avoid the ground opening up underneath us and we are able to uh, uh, avoid this uh, crack chasm as the ground er erodes rapidly in the desert. As or You can imagine all the sand seeping and falling into this chasm uh, as we start to move forwards. Now we have got two data and two uh, resources so that gives us a plus three on this roll, we really would like there to be a 10 or, pl or plus. A seven plus three gives us a 10, which means we get a challenge, an opportunity, a finding, and an aspect. Now we need to succeed in all of these to be able to actually get our final aspect. So our first challenge, 72. You step into a zone where evolution occurs at a hyper acceleration. I remember that as well. Hyper evolution. Biology or chemistry. Our biology, we get a re-roll, which is fives. Uh, a 10 and a three. A four and a three. So we succeed. Uh, so we exceed utilizing our biological knowledge to avoid our own systems being accelerated whilst accurately studying this weird patch of uh, zonal area. Uh, I keep thinking of like roadside picnic with the, the, the zone uh, where we have seen others of this. So this isn't the first time we've encountered this effect on the planet. So there might be something uh, related to that and possibly we can, we can find some opportunistic usage of this. 08. A crash satellite's black box could hold valuable insights, gain four data on a success. We could use that. So we have survival, robotics, or communication. Our communication is a six, our survival is an eight, our robotics is a six. So we'll go survival, which is eight, uh, an eight and eight. So that's, that's fine. So it's, it's less than or equal to. Uh, so we have we're able to find a crashed craft, crashed satellite. So this is, this is uh, a human satellite that we found. Uh, and so we get four data, one, two, three, four, giving us insights into what's going on into the area, double tick. And then finally, we have a finding. Uh, this could be a short session. So what else do we find? Uh, 82, you find a vein of rare isotopes, gain one resource. So possibly rather than we'll say a vein of rare isotopes, there are some rare isotopes within the satellite, which we are able to then uh, slowly and, and meticulously uh, scrape and remove, uh, gaining one resource in the process of removing. Uh, uh, oh, that's what we could do. We can convert resources into energy as well, can't we? Uh, gaining those rare isotopes and gaining one resource worth. And finally, we are able to utilize all of that information to give us uh, an aspect, meaning that we only need one aspect remaining to construct our gravity manipulation research center. Now, on our return, we are going to go back 
to some of those uh, crystalline conduits that we've encountered previously and attempt to recharge some energy. Uh, but that's what we're going to uh, uh, narratively describe it as, but mechanically we're just going to use the recharge energy uh, side activity, which is our technology, which is a four, plus four giving us an eight, so we need to roll eights. Uh, five and three, that gives us a success, and on a full success, gain energy equal to your technology trait value, which is a four, so we gain four energy. One, two, three, four, meaning that we have two consumed energy and we have four energy, of eight rather, energy available to us. So our, our gravity research center uh, facility is starting to come together. We're starting to understand a bit more about the planet and a bit more about the different aspects. But we still need uh, to find the final parts, the final part of the picture, rather than mechanical parts, but actually the sort of informational parts. So, oh one, sky bridges. Giant natural stone formations stretching across the sky like bridges. Possibly this, oh, this is quite new. Maybe these sky bridges uh, are, are staying up because of the gravitational waves and that we want to study to see how that is happening. So next we will then travel to these sky bridges, which is a travel encounter. So far we keep getting challenges, don't we? Guess what? It's a challenge. What travel challenge do we encounter? 58. Anyone remember that? A toxic geyser erupts nearby, releasing poisonous gases. So we've got a uh, Toxic geyser or geyser. So we've got all these poisonous gases begin to surround us. Survival is one of our best ones, which is five and three, which is eight. Oh, 10 and six. Uh, we will consume two energy to reroll that 10 to a six, a six and a six, which is under an eight. So we are able to. Uh, so to start off with, we are, uh, the toxic gases begin to come through our filters. And so we stop, uh, we block all of our filters, we shut all the filters down, which means that things start to overheat. And whilst that happens, we remove the filters uh, and we uh, do a chemical exchange within them to purify them a bit more and then replace the filters just in time, that'd be the reroll, uh, without needing to take any damage. So. We have now uh, reached these weird looking sky bridges that overlap each other and, and jut up and come all over the place. We have four data, which we will burn all of that four data uh, with the hope of getting a 10 on this roll. Uh, so that gives us a five. And a five is a challenge with a disadvantage to our roll. That's not great. So what are we challenged with? So 06. So obviously this area does not help us as much as we want. Our challenge being 06. A sudden, sudden tor torrent, a sudden torrent of chaotic data bursts from a near source and threatens to overwhelm your system. So uh, we are being uh, attempting to be overran. Uh, we have uh, IT four five six seven. If we use three energy one two three we can roll with advantage uh, which is good because this gives us disadvantage so we just come out straight uh, and our information technology is seven so we have seven uh, which is a success and a fail which means that we would get a strain all right we will we could spend two and do a reroll that doesn't give us so much so i think we'll take a strain uh, as we are desperately trying to protect our systems, that the rogue AI is learning how we function and we're not able to protect our systems as well. That rogue AI has it in for us and we're really gonna have to pick up our game. So we will then attempt to cut head back uh, again uh, with our solar capture cells out, trying to regenerate as much as we can, which is eights. Yep, that's a, that's a success, which means we get that back, which is four. So we have three used, seven available energy. Uh, we have one resource and no data. 
So we are really going to have to try and hopefully find something useful. Uh, 35 is the location, uh, which of the Vortex Springs. So we're going to return to the Vortex Springs because we're pretty sure that's going to help us. I think that was last game. We saw that went to the Vortex Springs last week. Yep, Vortex Springs last week, and it was for this. So we returned back to the Vortex Springs, which was one of the first places we went to. Uh, See what if we get a, a challenge or something for the travel. Nine? What does that give us? That looks good. Nine is an opportunity. Okay, so because we've been here before, we have a better understanding. Uh, 85. Uh, 85 gives us. There's robotic wildlife roaming the area that could hold secrets of alien biomechanics. Studying one could yield four data. So biology gives us a re-roll. So it's biology giving a re-roll, which is fives. Or we've got sixes for communication. Or we've got sixes. So we'll do fives with the biology re-roll. Uh, so that's a six. No, so seven. So we get a strain, uh, but we do get a success, which gives us four data. So this is uh, our opportunity, our travel opportunity. It gives us four data by studying these robotic wildlife, which is roaming and jumping and skipping and cavorting, cavorting all over the place. So we'll burn all four of that data, uh, oh, which gives us a, only a six. Ooh, we'll have to keep going. Uh, and a six is a challenge and an opportunity but at disadvantage okay so our challenge this is not looking good for us uh oh nine sudden fluctuations in gravity force in the gravity force threaten your progress and stability so we're still getting all of these these gravitational things affecting us survival which is an eight so we'll roll survival for eights uh which is which is a, a an impairment so I'm going to say that we will take another impairment. So we, we take a, a third, that's our third impairment, uh, as we get battered around uh, by the gravitational forces which are threatening us and smashing us into the rocks. Uh, but in the process of them battering us around, an opportunity expresses itself to us. Uh, 88, you find data revealing alien topographic studies, deciphering it can provide three data and one energy on a success. Uh, navigation, IT or survival. We will burn three energy to give ourselves an advantage on our IT. This is a disadvantage opportunity. So that gives us a straight, which is sevens. So we've got sevens. That's another impairment uh, and we don't get any data. So we're down, this is this is because we, we can't afford the, the energy loss. So we don't get the data and we don't get, uh, we get an impairment. So we are really broken as we start to head towards home. Uh, as we start heading home, I think the data is gonna be more useful to us than the energy and we might be able to get something if we can get the data. So we are going to try to, to analyze all of the damage that's been done to us and see if we can work out a way to do better, which is sevens, which is, uh, what's that? Okay, we'll use up two uh, to re-roll this. Good, so we get, uh, what's that? Analytics, which is three data. One, two, three data, might be all we need. We will then try and find a location to study, which is 36. The Vortex Springs, we are returning to the Vortex Springs again. We're sure the Vortex Springs, though they haven't helped us so far, is there something about these, there's something here that's gonna help us. We've got a challenge whilst we get there. 36. You're inadvertently provoked a hive mind alien species. Now they're attacking both physically and through our tech systems. So let's use survival, which is eight. Oh man, can't re-roll that nine, which is a strain. So now one whole side, we have we have four impairments and the rest is all full of strain at this point, which is not good. So we have uh, just about dodged uh, these uh, 
uh, hive-minded aliens as they're continually attacking us, sweeping in, attacking, sweeping in, attacking. Uh, we will then uh, approach the vortex springs again. There must be something here, we say to ourselves, as we burn the three data that we used. Oh, six, so that, that, I think we're gonna end this one, uh, not on what we wanted. Six is a challenge and an opportunity at disadvantage. I really wanted to finish that on a high. Uh, so what challenge awaits us? Hopefully we don't die. 33, a swarm of energy, oh, the rogue really is trying to get us. A swarm of energy leeches starts attaching themselves to your suit, draining your power reserves. Engineering or robotics? Engineering is a five, robotics is a six. I guess we will use robotics. We have one reroll, we have two energy left. We're looking for sixes. Ah, oh, we successfully defend ourselves against the energy leeches, which are desperately trying to uh, tap energy away from us and feed it to the rogue AI. And we are then presented with an opportunity of 61. Uh, we discover a living energy source, a creature that generates power that can be harvested, gain four energy on a success. So we'll try and use survival and gain four energy, that's eights. Uh, two and six, so we, we uh, successfully cipher one, two, three, four energy, uh, which gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, six energy available. All right, one last one. Uh, and we've got four permanent impairments and we've got five strain at the moment. So we will, uh, we're gonna go for data again, I think. We are gonna try and get some data, which is sevens, uh, with success, which is threes. One, two, three. Uh, sorry about that, like, because reference, but I want I want us to get this last aspect because then we can get our uh, gravity manipulation research facility. So this is our location, ninety six, the steaming springs. Okay, we've given up on the vortex springs. We're now going to go to the steaming springs. A collection of hot springs steaming amidst snow covered terrain creating a stark contrast and a refuge of warmth in the harsh cold. Okay, let's let's do a train feature. 42. Color shifting, well, it says sands, but we'll say it's color shifting snow. Okay, and then we will attempt to move like travel tools here. 10. 10 is a finding, I think. 10 is a finding. So we find something interesting on our way to the steaming springs. What do we find? We find, that was an eight. Uh, and then it knocked it. 87, what was 07? One data, that's no good. 87, one resource. Mm, that's one data technically. You discover the remains of an old Soviet Mir space station module. Despite its age, there are parts that could be recycled. Gain one resource. So we can burn those two resources and get one data. So that's on the way to the steaming springs. So now we're at our location encounter. I'm going to burn three data and we're going to convert the two resources into a fourth data, giving us plus four to this roll. 10, so that gives us 14, which gives us a challenge, an opportunity, a finding, and then finally our aspect. Do we have enough resources to use? We've got energy, so we can do that. So first off, we have a challenge that we need to overcome at the Steaming Springs, which is 70. Uh, we encounter an alien creature displaying signs of intelligence. Okay, uh, so we could get advantage with IT or biology gives us a reroll. We're gonna go for biology with a reroll and save the, uh, the energy. So this is fives, we get success. So we successfully begin to communicate with this alien and we, it tells us more information about the gravity and about how it's affecting its life and how various things on the planet are being affected by the gravitational shifts, because this is our final aspect. We now have an opportunity that comes uh, our way. 67. Uh, you discover an alien holographic archive filled with ancient data. Decoding it provides four data on a success. So we will use navigation, which is sevens, and we get a reroll, uh, which is, is fine. 
our opportunity success, we gain four data. One, two, three, four. Not that we'll be able to use it at this point. Uh, finally, we have a finding. So this alien will take us, will start to lead us off, 79, uh, to a shattered, shattered, um, scattered, Scattered among the alien landscape, you find shards of an old Soviet lunar probe. The technology is antiquated and antiquated. My God, my, my reading abilities have left me. Yeah, is antiquated, but still very useful. Gain one resource. Okay, uh, that's the find. And then finally, we have our final aspect, which means that we now can construct our gravity manipulation research facility, which gives us plus one engineering, which means our engineering goes from one to two. Uh, and we get, oh, uh, I suppose we could, oh, there's no point doing a side, side activity because we can't use the data. We don't have enough uh, resources to actually spend and get uh, an upgrade uh, and our energy is depleted, is going to come back anyway. So instead, we will read our final discovery of this season, uh, leaving one, two, three, four, five, leaving five less. Connection. You uncover traces of IAP involvement on this planet in the distant, distant past. It turns out that they were studying the sentient artifacts of this world to understand and replicate human emotions in their AI. Ah, okay, so our AI, our AI astronaut may be related to the AIs on this planet, uh, which is very interesting. So what we'll do is, so as we, we start the moment, we, 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 so we can continue, whenever we continue, we will erase all of our strain. Uh, we will erase our energy, our resources and our data. So we start clean. Uh, we at the moment are, have a technology of four, an analytics of three, an adaptivity of five. Our robotics is two, information technology is three, engineering is two, physics is three, biology is two, chemistry is three. We have a re-roll for biology. Survival is three, communications is one, navigation is two. We have a re-roll for navigation. A bit like that. Uh, uh, we have four impairments, which isn't great. And uh, uh, our welcome has created a gravity manipulation research facility, has created a material, a nanomaterial synthesis laboratory, a flora catalog, a xenobiology laboratory, uh, a geospatial laboratory, and finally, uh, a geospatial analysis, analysis lab, unless that is the same thing. Uh, we have successfully completed, must be five missions. One, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five missions. Uh, and that's it. That's it for welcome. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, for joining me. Uh, thank you very much for joining me on this uh, nine so uh, uh, exploring of the game Entity. Uh, I will probably come back to Entity at some point in the future and we can finish off uh, Welcome's journey and find out what happens at the end. Thank you very much, Peter Schultz, for designing and building and exquisite artwork. Uh, and that's it. If you liked what you saw, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you would like to subscribe, that would be awesome. It'll help us surface uh, to more people. And if you have any comments, please put them in and uh, either myself or someone will answer your comments on the game. Awesome game, give it a try. There's links in the description. It's awesome to see you. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.